Hey everybody, I'm Giancarlo. And I'm Felicia. And we are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, for the Unrivaled Tournament. That's right. Uh, we're at the pre... Not pre-show, the pre-day before the... Yeah, it's the pre-party. That's right. Uh, we're here at Gameworks. Yes. The day before. I'm sure a lot of people are dying to ask if you wear this on the weekends. Yes, all the time. Of course. This is my... Uh, I wear this to work as well. Maybe we should explain why we're dressed like this. Oh yeah, well Just it's in Halloween. Case it happens, it's Halloween. <laughs> and we're not used again. to coming from Canada. We're not used to having Halloween in such a hot climate. Yeah, that's right. That was nice yeah. today. Got yeah. off the plane. It's and nice uh, and tropical palm trees, cactuses. Let's see if it gets hotter inside. Yeah. I'm here with none other than Batman and Batwoman, otherwise known as Michael and his girlfriend Kiana. Correct. Uh, Michael is the CEO of Umba. Right. So, uh, how uh, how you how you liking the event so far? Ah, oh, this is great. It's an even better turnout than we expected. I got to tell you, this is our very first year doing this. That's right. So every single person that's here got here because somebody got on the phone and tried to convince them to come here. And I got to tell you, it was really a lot of hard work, brute force sales. But I tell you, more than it looks like almost two thousand people have shown up. That's awesome. As you can see, there's a lot of people in the back in the the, the pre party here. Uh, tomorrow is going to be the semifinals and the finals. Tell us a bit about Umba as well. So Umba has been my idea. I've been, I'm a long time game developer. I've done more than 25 video games and I just had the idea, why can't we do tournament management from the cloud? You know, every tournament of every kind of game or sport or contest of any sort, esports, they all have a lot of elements in common. And right now, you know, managing a real life tournament is hard. It takes a lot of logistics and stuff. And so I had the idea of let's just for once solve the problem on the cloud make it easy so people can check in with their iPhones, they can keep score with an iPad, make it really easy to run a tournament. And you know, and so the idea was born and, and it's turned into this. Yeah, this is, I, I mean, I think it's gonna be a, a revolution in, in, in showcasing this and board gaming and the, the, the type of money you guys put into this. Oh, the yeah. prize money is insane. Incredible. Millions, and the prize pool is over a quarter million dollars. That's, that's like unheard of until now, so yeah, that's awesome. You know, what? Uh, you know what my favorite part is? Each player that's here, the only way they got into this tournament is they had to play in the satellite at a game store. That's right. So they represent the game store. Now, if they win first prize, they get 10 grand. So does the game store. That is awesome. That's such a grassroots feel that I yeah. think it needs to be back to the board gaming community. Mm -hmm. Kiana, how are you liking the event so far? Oh my God, it's amazing. Yeah? <laughs> it's such a good turnout, and I love all the costumes, so. Yeah. I know, I, you guys are saying how you want to make this eventually into a convention as well. Oh, absolutely. By the way, did you see Will Wheaton's over there and uh, Brian Callum? Brian Callum's and, uh, there. Corrupt just showed up. Corrupt is going to do a set up front. It's so great. Oh my God, that's awesome. So we're probably going to go ahead and uh, try and get them. Michael, thanks for taking the time. I'm here with Michael Brandt, the Chief Gaming Officer right. of Umba. How are you doing, Michael? I'm doing well. How about yourself? Very good, very good. We're at the uh, pre-party for Unrivaled here at Gameworks. Uh, tell us a little bit about Umba. So Umba is an esports company. We focus on video game tournaments, uh, board and card game tournaments. Our whole goal is just to create competition in every type of game possible. This is a national tournament. It's really international, bringing people from all around the world to play six different games. We have over $250,000 in prizing. Thousands of people are coming to Vegas to see our, our finale. It's going to be great. And so, I mean, what we're looking to do is we're looking to take this tournament and eventually turn it into a convention. We're starting with a really I guess, smaller size thousand person tournament. Our goal is to bring this to a hundred thousand person event. And so with our finale, you're gonna really see that in full swing. That's awesome. Now, are you guys trying also to expand to other countries? Yeah, we're, we're going full international. Our goal we're gonna, is to open up 100 Gameworks locations, Umbo locations across the United States and international. And so uh, we're looking to expand very rapidly. Oh, I'm here with Brian Callen from Hangover 1 and Hangover 2. How you doing, Brian? I'm doing well, man. I'm at a, I'm at a gaming convention. This is exciting. That's cool. I mean, not really exciting, but it's interesting. Well, this is the pre-party, right? This is the pre-party, and, and I guess it's uh, board games. That's right. That's I, right. I had no idea board games we're an $11 billion industry. People watch other people play board games. It started off with eSports and now it's board games. I, I'm just amazed and I love how, how this whole economy has all these niche sort of subcultures, you know? And there's, so there's something for everybody. And, and I think that what's really cool is that it, it creates a community. It, it does, you know? yeah, absolutely. And, 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 there's, so, so you can make fun of board games, or you can make fun of video games, but what people are getting is competition, strategy, community, all the things they get from other things, you know? Right. And in a way, it's a really productive thing, but what's amazing 
also is the fact that people get paid for what they love to do. That's it's that's nuts. that's nuts right so, now. If, you, if you're playing board games all day when you were my age, my, when you were a kid, my mother wouldn't have been... Get out of the house, right? Get out of the house. <laughs> you're going to be a failure your whole life. Now, if my son starts playing board games, I'm going to be like... Be competitive. Going. I'm going to be... Yeah. You're not getting up until you finish that board game and you beat your neighbor. Right, I'm here with Kimberly at the Cryptozoic booth. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. So, uh, Epic Spell Wars is uh, one of the games on the tournament list. How do you guys feel about that? Well, so it's uh, pretty great to have that here. Um, it, we've gotten a lot of people commenting about having DC deck building instead here, because um, that's kind of mostly what we do. But I'm, I'm pretty excited that we had even gotten invited. And uh, all the good feedback, a bunch of people have been asking about when this comes out, which will be coming out later next month, which is we're just demoing our Epic Spell Wars 3 game right yeah, now. Yeah, this is the third one right yeah. now, right? Now, what was your experience uh, with Cryptozoic here at the Unrivaled? Yeah, no, I wasn't. This is amazing. I wasn't sure. I thought it was going to be a lot smaller, but just having everyone everything here. Everything big in oh, Vegas. Yeah, huh? everything <laughs> big in Vegas. So it's been pretty great. And like I said, we've had people coming to the booth all day asking about when this game's coming out and telling us they want more of our games to come out there. Like I said, they want our DC deck building next year. So I'm that, hoping that'd be super cool to yeah, be in a competitive exactly. environment. Oh yeah, and there's so many of the uh, so many in the series, right? To choose from. Yeah, that. exactly. So that's what a lot of people are like. Hey, next year are you guys gonna try to do that? And it's something to look into. So yeah. uh, I'm at the upper deck booth with Mark, who's uh, gonna give us a little uh, a little um, opinion on uh, the Unrivaled. Uh, how was it so far? Uh, it's actually quite impressive. Uh, we first heard about Unrivaled uh, earlier this year through another company, um, just trying to get an idea of what this was all about. Um, trying to bring esports to tabletop was mm -hmm. very interesting to us. Um, so we've been kind of keeping an eye on it uh, through the, uh, the store level stuff, the regional stuff, and then finally here. So we got an opportunity to come out, show off a few of our games, just kind of get an overall opinion as to, you know, our, our players having fun, mm -hmm. um, uh, what all this is about. And it's incredibly impressive to see it firsthand. So the fact that you're saying it's incredibly uh, impressive, I'm assuming you want to try and get some upper deck games into the tournament series maybe next year? Uh, absolutely. Um, we came out to show off our legendary and our, our versus stuff mm -hmm. um, to kind of get an idea as to whether or not uh, players would be interested in playing it. Uh, does it work for uh, us? Does it work for Unrivaled? Um, we know that there are some deck builders out there, but something like a TCG might be something a little different. Mm -hmm. um, but overall, it's been pretty positive. Uh, a lot of current players are very interested in seeing it, and even some new players are very curious to, about it as well. Uh, so what I've heard from uh, the people on Rivaled is that they might want to extend next year uh, and make it include Canada in there. Uh, obviously, that would be good. There's a lot of gamers up here, up there in Canada, I should say. We're Canadian. Uh, so yeah, it'd be good to have Upper Deck there as well. Well, at Upper Deck, we, we care about our Canadian players. We care about mm -hmm. our Canadian fans um, being the, uh, the exclusive for NHL hockey cards. Yeah, that's uh, right. We know how much Canada likes their stuff. So, right. absolutely, we would love to include Canada in any of this. And we are continuing our coverage of Unrivaled Tournament in Las Vegas. I'm here with Blue Orange, specifically Martin. How you doing, Martin? Good, yourself? Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's my pleasure. How are you liking the experience so far over here? Oh, it's unbelievable. It's such a unique event, you know, being yeah. able to have all those uh, people loving uh, board games all in one place after so many months of uh, qualifiers, you know? Yeah. Uh, obviously, very passionate people. Uh, and they're in it to, to win it. That's yeah. the least uh, you can say, you know? And speaking of winning, the prizes, how, how nuts is that? Like, it's, there's a lot of money. It is amazing for, uh, for board game, yeah. uh, for the board game industry. Uh, the prizes, the money involved is just amazing. It's uh, one of a kind, really. Yeah. I'm at the Oni Chan game booth here with Mike. Yes. And Chef. Peter Peter Peter. Peter. There yeah. we go. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you guys might remember him from the video game Burger Time, which uh, Oni Chan now just made a game of. Card game right here. Check that out. But first, Let's talk about the Unrivaled uh, experience. How are you liking it so far, Mike? Yeah, this is, uh, it's far beyond what I expected. I mean, you, tons of players, and the speech that Will Wheaton gave at the beginning was just, uh, I mean, it was great. Yeah. It says everything that we try to uh, embody. I mean, players sitting across from other players playing games. Las Vegas is overwhelming to begin with, yeah. but then you walk into a place like this and you just see the amount of money and time and people that it took to do something like this. It is just fascinating. It is. Because to be honest with you, board games kind of take a back seat to other games. 
and to see them treat it like a video game tournament or like a poker tournament or something is just amazing. I, yeah, I totally amazing. agree with you. I'm here with the Dukes of Dice, Sean and Alex. Welcome. How's it going, everybody? Good. Glad to be here. It's a yeah, lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Huh? I'm having a good time meeting people, like minded people, so it's pretty cool. Oh, absolutely. This is a blast. This first year, board games, huge prizes. What do you guys think? It's it's pretty crazy, right? You have no idea what to expect with this kind of thing because yeah. it's such a small hobby when you really think about it in the big picture. And to see this kind of an event put on for this hobby, it's really heartening to see. Yeah, it really is. And, and it was funny how like uh, the president of Umba was saying how at the beginning, it's the first year, not a lot of people were taking it seriously. They couldn't believe it was true. Well, no, the very first thing on the FAQ on the website is like, is this like the same people that do the Nigerian prince? You know what I mean? <laughs> like seriously, like that's for real because it just seems too good to be true. But this is really professionally run. Um, the price support's amazing, and they're taking care of all of us. Like it's really yeah, cool. yeah, they're yeah, they're really taking yeah. care of all of us. So tell us a little bit about your podcast. So we've been going for three years, almost a little more than three years. A little yeah. more than three years now. Uh, we were a weekly podcast about three months ago. We transitioned to every other week. We've got a YouTube channel, but we're mostly an audio podcast. A lot of the new hotness, talk about news, uh, do featured reviews. What am I missing? No, that's pretty much it. Talk about baseball highlights 2045 every single episode. <laughs> pretty much. Every episode without fail. Why Why that? It's just the game I'm absolutely obsessed with. Okay. Big props right, to Mike Fitzgerald, enough. the designer of that thing, because it is unbelievable. I know Mike. Yeah, of course. I, oh, I, I did it. I did, I did it. Yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> just did the Dragon Island, the Gen Con. Right. We just we, played that today. We played that today. That's awesome. Today. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what are you dressed up there as, Sean? So I am a Duke of Dice. So Alex oh. is going to show the shirts. <laughs> All right, so there's the official Dukes of Dice meeple. And I am a, I am a steampunk. A steampunk Duke. I'm oh, sorry. Steampunk Dukes of Dice. So there you, go. you made Duke me strip on camera. You made me strip on camera. <laughs> that costs extra. I, I hey, I, I usually try to do that with women, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's all good. Coverage. I'm here with Cat Rider from Glory Hound and the Uninvited Gamer, which is a Hello. podcast. How you doing? I'm doing very good. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about Glory Hound, the Uninvited Gamers? Yes, absolutely. We are a podcast-focused uh, site that talks about entertainment and board games. So, I mean, we love we love making people happy. <laughs> of course. Well, that's a point of the community, absolutely, right? It's board yes. gaming. I mean, um, what do you guys do different? You were telling me you guys do something a bit more different than most. Yes. Okay, so first off, we talk a lot about Kickstarters, which is really important because the Kickstarter market is so hard to navigate, especially for newer gamers. Mm -hmm. Like, I agree. yeah, it is very hard to pick the right Kickstarter, making sure it funds on time and stuff. And so I pick the best Kickstarters and we talk about uh, if we like them or not and why you should fund them and why you shouldn't. And do you do like a quick play test beforehand? Yes, so if we can absolutely get a play test in, we absolutely will, yeah. But a lot of the Kickstarters, uh, you can tell if they're going to be good or not just by simply focusing on what they have available on the right. site. You know, if they put up good content, if you have playthroughs, and we kind of walk you through all of that. So it makes it really nice. Do you do you focus on bigger companies or more independent ones? No, like, we do independent ones, definitely. So okay. it's whatever I go ahead and go on Kickstarter, and I'm like a Kickstarter fanatic. So whatever I think is really awesome and is funding. Back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> whatever I'm backing, <laughs> whatever I'm backing, I make sure to promote that and let other people know that there's really fantastic games out here that are not always by big publishers, but also by yeah, little. They, they kind of use also the, the Kickstarter as a, as a pre-order. Which absolutely. is fine for them. I mean, it's, you know, if it works for them. It's absolutely fine if you have a really good, you know, Kickstarter, like, uh, like ILO games and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. yeah and stuff but the little ones are good to focus on too yeah, yeah absolutely some of the best games i've bought were actually from independent gamers right. so independent absolutely. publishers i mean absolutely and you know if you've never done kickstarter before like it, it could be daunting oh yeah. it, there's so many things and you just you don't know something could look good and then it turns out to be really bad or you're waiting years i'm here at the booth of game master with ashley who's the assistant manager of the retail store. How are you doing, Ashley? Good, how are you? Very good, thank you. How's the experience so far? This is the first year of Unrivaled. Uh, has it met your expectations? What do you think? I think it surpassed it, actually. It's been really smooth so far. I really liked it. That's awesome, that's great to hear. 
And uh, how's the community, do you find, in terms of the people, the grassroots people? They're liking it, and they've been all so nice and talking to us a lot. It's yeah. been great, yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of brings us back to back in the day when uh, everybody was more of a family. It's, re it's really yeah. cool. Where are you guys located, actually, your We're store? We're in Orange County uh, at the Laguna Hills Mall. So I strongly recommend for everybody next year to come. What do you think? I agree. It's a lot of fun, and I've really liked connecting with everybody. And you. Awesome. The Unrivaled Tournament is tomorrow, and I got some contestants here. Uh, what's your names? My name's Ryan. Ryan. My name's Tori. Tori. Jack. Jack. Nice to meet you guys. So listen, I heard you guys were all from the same area. Where are you from? Yeah, uh, we're from Provo, Orem, Utah. Cool. Yeah. So you guys entered the tournament, and uh, well, the, the qualifiers, and you guys made it? For what game? Uh, I'm I'm playing Nevermore. Okay. I'm playing King of Tokyo. King of Tokyo. And I'm Villagers and Villains. Awesome. And you guys all come from the same game store? Which one's that? Uh, Dragon's Keep in o or Lehigh, actually, yeah. I'm here with uh, k and Games. I actually don't know their names yet. They're going to find them out as fast as you will. What's your name? I'm Kevin. Uh, and you're one of the owners? Yes, I am the owner. You are the owner? Well, I'm one of the owners. One of the owners, yep. okay. Roy. Roy? Brandon. All right. And what are you guys competing in? Epic Spell Wars. Awesome. <laughs> Epic Spell Wars also. Awesome. So what do you guys are expecting for tomorrow? You guys think you're gonna win? Do you have a do you have a pregame ritual or something? Um, I think we're doing our pregame ritual right, right now. now. Right drinking now, drinking and party. We're having pretty much the extent of. It. Well, I mean, for Epic Spell Wars, that's good. Now I just want to ask something. Where are you guys from, and where's your store? The store is in Deloge, Missouri. Okay, cool. And uh, that's where we all live, is Missouri. And I'm here with Jesus Christ. Let's be, let's be on to you. Forgive me my sins, Father. Of course. Because I have many. Oh, that's beautiful. What's your name? Uh, Tony. Tony? And Jesus, but I sometimes go by Tony. <laughs> and you are here as a competitor, and what are you competing in? I'm playing Munchkins today. Munchkins tomorrow? tomorrow. Yeah. And are you going to win? Of course I'm going to win. Right? I'm gonna place top three. You, sp you spoke. You spoke with your dad. He said you're yes. you're chill. You're good. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's been foretold. It's been foretold <laughs> that I will come back and uh, win. This. Where are you from originally? So how did you qualify? Um, I'm from California. I played a couple of regionals there, but I also got a golden ticket, which uh, brought me here to the finals. I didn't have much luck because Munchkins is a very lucky. Yeah, Munchkins. Yeah. But they saw me participate a lot and. Uh, you know, I so guess they, they 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 give you like they see they see you trying, they see you trying and they're it's like he's good, there. He's very serious. good community, uh, great tournament people. So you know, if you're out there trying and being friendly, uh, they came up to me and I, I was so happy. I said yes. Let's. Were you in the board game community for a while now? Uh, I'd say recently, maybe a year now. And how do you like it? You say I it's very it. welcoming. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. I love it. Um, I'm new to Munchkins, but I played a lot of board games uh, like. Uh, I started with the Catan. Um, I played. A, I have a bunch of board games. Me and my friends play once a week. So okay, that's awesome. It's a lot of fun. All right, listen, man. You have a uh, good luck tomorrow. Hopefully, it's gonna be go better than the luck you've had so far. So Munchkin's very, you know, rough. Yeah. But uh, you were telling happen. me, you were telling me, first place ten thousand, second is five, yeah. and you say you'll even take third, which is third is twenty five hundred, and fourth is a thousand. So I'm here with Zach Meza. Zach Meza, who is also one of the finalists for tomorrow. Yes, I'm a finalist for tomorrow. Yeah, and he keeps uh, bragging about how he's going to take the whole thing home, win it all. Just tell us a little bit about that. Uh, yeah, it actually should be pretty easy. I don't think uh, anyone here is as good at the game as I am. I think they're a bunch of amateurs and they wasted a bunch of time coming to Vegas. So my journey is I woke up a Saturday morning heard that there was going to be a board game tournament down here at GameWorks and I went and won very easily and um, I qualified uh, to take the 10 minute trip down to uh, Valley's to win tomorrow. So there you have it, first hand, this is Zach, potential winner I think, maybe, so. Probably. And we're continuing our unrivaled coverage, I'm here at the pre-party with Tim from Meepleville Board Game Cafe here in Las Vegas. How you doing, Tim? I'm doing fine, thank you. Yeah, and are you excited for this Unrivaled? Absolutely, I mean, it's the first one, you know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, real excited, it should be good. 
So what are you doing exactly? I, I passed by a room here at Games Work, yep. and uh, you had your banner up, and everybody was playing inside there. They're practicing for the semifinals and the finals tomorrow. Yeah, so they asked me to go ahead and uh, bring some games tonight for the room in there so people can sit and play more games. And then tomorrow at the event, I'm bringing a library as well so people can play games all day tomorrow as well. The fact that Umba take, took this opportunity and tried to make the board game industry go grow, I think is great. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, they're doing a great job and I wish them all the success in the world. And I wish you and Meepleville a lot of success. I known you working as Yellow before yeah, as well, yeah, and I'm like, absolutely. I know this guy, and I'm yeah, like, I still there do he work is. For them too. Do the, do all They're the great. Cons. They're great. Yeah, we have great games. Yeah. So uh, if, I'll see you tomorrow, and if not, I'll see you at the next con. You absolutely will, John Carlo. Yes. Take care, Tim. You, you right, too, man. You. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching, and happy gaming.